Hi, this is Ian McFarlane. This brief tutorial will walk you through creating an APA style title page using Microsoft Word. So I've got my Word document open and this is what I'm going to use uh, to create my title page. I should note this is Word uh, 2010, so the process is pretty much the same for most of the recent versions of Word. Um, I've also already set up my uh, document to have the basic formatting for APA style. For example, the font is already Times New Roman 12, um, and the default uh, uh, line spacing, oh, looks like that wasn't set, is now at double space. Um, so if you want to have any questions about that or want to see how to do that, um, I have a separate video on my YouTube channel called Basic APA Style Formatting in Word. Um, but this one's going to focus on creating a title page. So I'm going to create a title page for a fictitious study um, called Gender Differences in Verbal Recall Tasks. Um, so to get started, I'm going to uh, move my cursor down a few lines, um, and I'm going to go to Center, and I'm going to type the title of my title, title of my study, which is Gender Differences in Verbal Recall Tasks. Okay, you want to keep your titles as short and concise as possible. Uh, you don't want to add a whole bunch of extra words if you don't have to. Generally, the recommendation is to keep it under 12 words, if at all possible. Uh, next, I'm going to create my byline, which just gives my name an institution. So I'm going to type my name down here. Um, you don't type any titles with your name, any degrees with your name. Uh, you just give your name. And then underneath that, you put your institution. Um, so I would put Austin College, um, although for the purposes of writing papers for class, it's probably better to um, put the title of the name or title of the class here. Um, so I might just put Psi 201 uh, Research Methods. Okay, so if this was a project for my research methods course. Okay. Now, typically, if you were writing a title page for publication in an APA journal, you'd have to include your author's note next, which would say things about, um, you know, if you had any uh, conflicts of interest or acknowledgments you wanted to make, as well as list your corresponding author. We're not going to bother with that um, because we're just we don't need to worry about that for papers you write for class. The next thing I need to do to create my title page is create the header. So you simply double click up here. Okay, now you can control the alignment and things just like you would anywhere else in Word. Um, but a couple things you want to check. Uh, because this is a title page, you need to have what's called the running head. Okay, so the first thing you're going to type here is running head, two words with a colon. Okay, Then you're going to use it in all um, capital letters, so I put my caps lock on. You're going to do a shortened version of the uh, title of your paper. I'm just going to put gender differences. Uh, you want it to be a shorter version. Um, this is going to be what's going to show up as your pa individual page headers. Now the restriction on this is it needs to be less than 50 characters, which includes spaces. If you're unsure how many characters you have, you can go to your review tab you can do a word count and it will tell you how many characters you have with spaces. Okay, I'm well under the 50 uh, character limit. I may consider putting my full title here. If I do that, I'm still underneath the 50 character limit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, The last thing that needs to go in my header is uh, the page number. So I'm just going to tab over. I hit tab once and I end up here, uh, left or right aligned. And I'm going to insert the page number. Now I'm not going to actually type a 1 here uh, because if something changes, I want it to automatically update. And if I want it to uh, change and auto populate for the remaining pages. So up here, you can come to page number and you want it in the current position and you want a plain number. Uh, APA format, you just want the number. Okay, so right here I've got my running head, the header that will be used in my paper, and the page number. So the last thing I need to do here is set it up so that um, my following pages won't have this running head piece here. That only goes on the first page. Okay, so to do that, 
I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go to my next page, which would be the abstract page if you have one. Um, now notice I'm, I could just tab all the way or hit enter all the way down until I get on the second page. Um, but I'm not going to do that. And the reason why is I'm going to insert a page break. The nice thing about a page break is that the next page will start exactly, you know, the next page will start here. And I don't have to worry about if I change anything up here, it won't throw off my formatting further on. So this second page would be my abstract. And this is where I would start typing um, stuff about my study. Okay, so that's where I'd write my abstract. But if I look here, um, my second page header has this running head on it still. So I'm going to double click here to open the header tool again. And if I look up here at the options, I see there's an option to have the first page be unique compared to the rest of the document. And that's the box I want to check. And now if I scroll up, to the first page, I see the header box is empty. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to copy down here what's here. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to come up to the first page header, paste that in. Okay, so I've got this is exactly what I want on the first page, and now I'm going to come back down to the second page header and I'm just going to take the running head portion out. Okay, so now I can close my header and footer and up here I've got my running head on my first page and as I scroll down I've got just the header I don't have that little front tag there. Okay, now it turns out every page I start go from here on out will look just like that second page but it will update with the appropriate page number. Okay, and that's how you create a title page and uh, in Microsoft Word according to APA style and how you get the header set up correctly. Good luck writing your paper. Hi, this is Ian McFarlane. This brief tutorial will walk you through creating an APA style title page using Microsoft Word. So I've got my Word document open and this is what I'm going to use uh, to create my title page. I should note this is Word uh, 2010, the 